Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the show. This is Any Kind Media. We are your hosts. My name is Ocean Subiono. I'm Taylor Vera. And today we are going to take a look at the new movie that just came out Thursday, right? Just yep. came out on Thursday. Uh, the Unbearable Weight of Massive Talent. This is a movie starring Nick Cage, um, as well as Pedro Pedro Pascal. Pedro Pascal. I don't want to say I want to just say Pedro Pablo, and I was like, no, that's not right. <laughs> <laughs> but Pedro Pascal, and there's a couple other somewhat notable character uh, actors, Neil Patrick Harris, and some other people in smaller roles. But yeah, the the majority of the movie is Pedro and and Nick Cage, yep. and they they take it off. So. We're going to break it down, give our take, give you guys a quick review first. Uh, we just watched it. like We just came from the movie theaters, just watched it, so it's all fresh in our mind. And we'll uh, let you know kind of just a quick review, and then we'll dive into some spoilers. So stick around. Let us know what you think. All right. So, Nick friggin' <laughs> wow, wow, Cage. How did, how did you like the movie? I fucking uh, I loved it. Yeah, <laughs> it, dude, I mean, it was I saw the trailer in the theaters a little while back. Um, that alone got me super excited. So that's yeah. why I mentioned it to you. I thought I was like, "Hey, we need to go watch this because it looked really funny." Yeah, and it was. It was it's really great. funny. It's always interesting to watch movies where the actors are or the actor is playing himself, right? Yeah, Nick Cage is playing Nick Cage, and and so it's always it's always fun to see that. So. Uh, I think Nicolas Cage did an amazing job. Yep, I did. I think he, Pedro Pascal did a dude, super Pedro good job. Amazing. Especially because, you, know? you know, this is probably, at least this is my second thing of watching him in it. Yeah. From, aside from Mandalorian. Right. And you Thought don't even see it. him in Mandalorian, really. <laughs> yeah. But he smashed it. He did so good. I was hoping that he would figure out some way to sneak in This Is The Way. Somewhere yeah, in there, I was kind you know? of hoping it's just uh, something from Star yeah. Wars, but oh shoot, that's a spoiler. Sorry, but that's the only spoiler you get. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I, I was kind of hoping he would sneak that in there. But um, the movie, the movie starts off really well, um, and it it keeps you engaged the whole time. Yeah, like, the uh, the story. It's kind of like a I guess you would call it like a meta don't give film. The spoilers. Don't give the spoilers. I mean, it's not. I'm just giving like that overall like, uh, it's like story of the movie. Yeah. Like it kind of, um, not necessarily like fourth wall breaking, but it's playing on itself as it's you yeah. know going through. So it, it, I don't know. It just it did a really good job of keeping us engaged, laughing. Wow. There's uh, action, plenty of action throughout, plenty of really funny scenes. Uh, Tiffany Haddish is in it and she's hilarious um, so it was it was really good I, I really enjoyed it uh, <clears throat> you I was planning on seeing this movie anyway but when you texted me and said hey man let's do let's do an episode on this I was I was 100% down so um, yeah I really enjoyed it man yeah I did too I thought um, throughout the whole movie like beginning middle and like it was just great all yeah. the way through I think so too. I think it's definitely, definitely worth a watch. Definitely worth going to the theaters too, because I think you know, as always, theaters always make yeah it makes it make the watching experience better. better, right? So, um, you know, it's always always good. So, uh, yeah, let's do let's do a quick uh, quick score, right? We'll give it a, give it a score, and then we'll kind of dive into some spoilers because <laughs> there's some funny things that I want to talk about and whatnot, but uh. Hey, go back to sleep. <laughs> oh, man. Nah, he looks like he's up. Yeah, we're going to take a quick pause. I got to go put my son back to sleep because my dog's making a little noise. So I'll be right back. And we're back. Sorry about that. Uh, quick detour, but... Probably won't see this due to the magic of editing anyways. <laughs> All right, so... Uh, I don't even know what we're talking about. Yeah. Oh, rating, 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 rating. Oh, yeah. Right, rating so that we can get to the spoilers. Okay. Uh, what do you think? What do you get a minute? I will gladly give this movie a nine. Wow. Wow, you liked it that much? Yeah, I thought it was really good. Wow. Okay. All right. I 
I don't disagree. I, I would probably give it a nine as well. Uh, I thought it was really fun to watch. Like we said, it kept us engaged the whole time. There was action. There was all these things. The story had multiple layers. It kept you, you know, uh, it, it kept unfolding. It didn't stall out. It didn't didn't uh, die out or anything. It just it was a really good movie. It was really well done. Yeah. There uh, the only like thing I wasn't a huge fan of. Um, and it's not really that big of a deal because it's really just there as like um, to add to I guess to the movie, which is the whole like when it was trying to be like fake serious mm-hmm. and like the whole CIA thing. I thought it was just kind of dumb, but I mean it led up to the yeah. whole events and stuff of them what happened between them so yeah i I, I can see that we'll talk more about that yeah uh i highly recommend that you guys go see this movie it's in theaters as of right now as of when this video comes out so go go take a take a few hours go watch it it's not a super long movie it's no two and a half hour long movie it's only i think it's only an hour 45 yeah it's just Um, a little under but a you know we really enjoyed it. Seems like a lot of people online enjoyed it. I've seen almost nothing but good reviews. I think it even got 89% on Rotten Tomatoes. Something so, like that. You know, uh, go go check it out and have a... Go on a date with your wife or something or your husband. And just go enjoy yourself. Or your best hours. friend. Yeah, or just two brothers. Yeah, two brothers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, go enjoy yourselves. Uh, enjoy the movie. Uh, and then come back afterwards watch the rest of this video because we're going to dive into some spoilers and get uh get into some of the funny parts but <clears throat> yeah so this is your official spoiler alert i don't know what noise i'm making here all right uh, all right what was what was the funniest part to you uh i don't know if i can pick out like just a single funny moment because there's so many funny moments in this yeah. movie like uh, pretty much any time Nick Cage is talking to himself <laughs> it's hilarious yeah. and I think if I had to pick a really funny moment it's the super hilarious LSD scene Dude, when they're just driving that's around my and then the wall and I like yeah. I, as we were you the know watching I was so like bro funny. I guarantee you they can yeah. just walk around that thing and yeah, yeah. Immediately afterwards, it just makes fun of itself. Too. That is my. F- it's it's fucking... hilarious, and then they do it for real yeah. later on, yeah. like well, they, not well, climbing the wall, but you but know, like one the one has to stay behind. Yeah, he's like, just yeah. fucking go on without me. No. So this during the movie, they they're trying to they're trying to come up with a, a movie, uh, like within the movie, they're trying to come up with a movie idea to make a movie. So they're like, oh, so they, let's do drugs. Yeah, they decided, let's do LSD, which cool. actually makes sense. Uh, but I've heard like a lot, yeah. a lot of times that a, a lot, lot of artists, creative, yeah, creative yeah. artists always use drugs to like uh, elevate their mm-hmm. creative minds. Yeah, so. no, there's a lot of people that have openly said that. Um, but <laughs> they take some LSD and <laughs> they go like driving into town and then they're sitting on some steps and they look over and there's like people around yeah. them and he's yeah, like it's just a, oh. it's a town square so there's just me you know, like what if our characters we make a movie that's character driven and then they're getting followed by people yeah, what's it? Just paranoia. Like, like those two guys right there they're looking at us wait, wait they're looking at us <laughs> uh, I don't know are they okay, Hold on, you, let me check. You, you look you look, but when you look, make sure you give like a little fake, sm- fake, a laugh. fake laugh. Fake laugh. Pedro's like, <laughs> he turns around, he looks like he's crying and laughing at the it's same so time. Funny, dude. And so they run away, and then they run into this wall that's too tall for you to climb over by yourself. So Pedro gets down on his hands and he's just like, "Use me as a stool." Yeah, please use me as a human stool. <laughs> and, so he gets, and then Nick Cage like tries trying to pull him up over the wall. He's like, "Man, you're a lot <gasps> heavier than I thought you'd be. Your head is so big." It's like, yeah, I know. My head is huge. <laughs> this is so funny. And then they just go, he just walks around. And he's like, oh, we could have gone around it the whole time. <laughs> oh, where did you come from? Oh, I just walked around. Oh, my gosh. It was so funny. It, it, that was the funniest part. Because it was really dramatic. It seemed yeah, like it was, it was like a war really movie. Dramatic. Yeah, but it was really funny. Uh, <clears throat> I I'm really... A, a really subtle moment, but I liked it's a, it's in I think it's in the trailer, but... It's, I think it's more funny throughout the film is 
when he's like when they go into that room and he's like you're, you're gonna change your you might change <laughs> yeah. your mind about me and, he, and then he goes in and has all this nick cage memorabilia and then he's like wow what is this, this is grotesque how much did you pay for this he's like oh, six, about six thousand i'll give you 20 for it I'll give you 20k <laughs> yeah that's really funny uh there's a lot of moments like that throughout the throughout the film where they're just it was just funny. The, whatever they said or whatever they did was funny. Yeah. Uh, they no. always make it look like uh, every time uh, Nick Cage thought that uh, Pedro was going to like do something serious and stuff, but it turns out yeah. to be completely it's, different. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's so funny. Um, I had the one, there was one part in the movie that I just didn't, I didn't think needed to be there, and it was just a little out of place to me. It was just when he was talking to himself, and then he kissed himself. That was a little weird. Yeah. But I, I think it was just the, to play on the fact that, like, uh, almost like the memes of Nick Cage and, like, how much he loves himself. Yeah. And, like, how good, you know, the whole idea of it of, like, him being so amazing. Yeah. I, I definitely it was got a, that. It was definitely... But then when he, like, when he kissed himself, I was like... No, it wasn't even just because it wasn't too. just like a it wasn't just like a little smooch. It was like, a, was like they were making, making out. out. Yeah, he's like, and don't it, worry, I know Nick Cage is a good kisser, <laughs> a good smoocher. smoocher. Oh, yeah, smoocher. And it it's this uh, this person that we're talking about. Like he's talking to himself. Like he has he has like a projection of himself that he. I talks will say to that I like it's head. such a weird effect of his himself. Yeah, because it looks. It like, looks like a young, younger version of him, but w- that was made with CGI. Yeah, well, see, the thing is, like, his face looked like the that face de aging effect yeah. CG, but then the the rest of him looked normal. Right. Like almost like it was just like a stunt double, but just Might they worked been. the face. But I have no idea. Yeah, I couldn't tell. It was done well enough that you knew something was done, but you couldn't figure out what. Yeah. Was, what so was I didn't done. know if it was full CG or like. A Which mix. I think they intended that. I think they intended for you to realize that it's not actually him, but um. <laughs> I thought that was funny. One thing I gotta say is that Nicholas Cage, I don't know, he seems a little. Old. He looks older than I thought he. But I know he's old because yeah, I mean he's old. But he's been around quite a while. Yeah, he's been around a long time. But I, like I didn't, I don't know. I guess like I hold might just be the beard because of National Treasure, you know. Like, <laughs> National Treasure. When did that when come I, out, though? This is a long time ago. Because that's old. But that was like a that was a great movie throughout my childhood. So I held him in such high esteem. <clears throat> so I just didn't didn't want him to get old, you know. Yeah. But I thought, yeah, it's kind of kind of interesting. But yeah, man, I really enjoyed that movie. That was a that was a solid choice to go watch, man. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, solid choice. So. Yeah. Anything else you had to say on? No, ma- I think unbearable. It- Way to think, uh, talent. I think everybody in the movie did really good. Mm-hmm. Super funny. Um, they don't have any. It's just like their they their fake movie is in yeah. the movie. Um, it's definitely driven by these two actors mostly, right. and it's it, they're amazing. Driven. Yeah. If you if you pay attention or not, if you pay attention, but if you really like think about it in hindsight, the movie is what they wanted the movie to be. Well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. And it, that's with the all whole the point of the movie is right. it's a movie about itself. Right. Yeah. With, like... like even when they added in itself, the, cap, yeah. the, the kidnapping. At the very end of the movie, yeah. it, you like, it swaps between what actually happened to the movie within the movie that within they made. The movie. Yeah. yeah. Movieception. Yeah, that was really good. Uh, so we are in agreement... Just want to make sure that I have it in my brain the same way you have it in your brain. When they when his daughter throws him the knife, he turns around, and stabs the dude. It swaps. Both of those things happen, right? They, it happened, but the char- the actors right. swap. Okay, all right, because right. that wasn't his wife. Well, and that wasn't. Yeah, it wasn't his wife. Wasn't his daughter. But I just want to make sure that because the way I see it is that actually like everything actually happened, and then they made a movie about it. Yeah. No. Okay. Yeah. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Because I could see somebody saying like. This whole time, it's been a movie. You know what I mean? Yeah, but maybe not. I don't. Now that I don't I think, think it's that. Now that, that I put much more into thought it. into that thought, that's, that's why you should think about things before you say things. But yeah, I mean, they said that like, <laughs> oh, wait, we should literally just make this movie about us. Yeah, yeah and yeah. our relationship. So everything happened, and then they just recreated it into the movie that they were planning yeah. within this movie that you are watching. 
All right, you lost me there. Nah, 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 nah. You, I, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> nah, it was, it was really good. It was a really good movie. Um, yeah. Anything else you guys say? No, that's about it. All right, thought it was awesome. Thank you guys for checking out this video as we gave our take on uh, Nicholas Cage's new movie. The massive weight of unbearable talent. No, the unbearable, the unbearable weight, weight of, of massive, massive talent. talent. What's up with these long ass movie titles? The last couple, like, yeah, there was cool everything now, everywhere all Because there's once. so many sequels, and then yeah, yeah, even the standalone ones. Yeah, they just have super long, long names. names. But it was it was worth it. It was a really good movie. Uh, go check it out. Go watch the movie. Uh, let us know what you guys thought. Uh, let us know if we missed anything, or actually, you know what? In the comments below, let us know what your favorite or most funny part was to you of the movie because there's a lot yeah, of there's a lot fun. Yeah, thank you guys for being here we appreciate you there's a lot of content coming to you guys soon so let us know if you guys have any suggestions of what to what to watch what to do reviews on we appreciate all it all so thank you guys for being here we'll catch you guys in the next episode bye guys <laughs>